Recording in progress. I need. Oh, I got to do that. Figure out the tech order. Yes. Hi, Jess. Changing back word right here. Uh, hello. Hi, everybody. I was muted. Speakers up. Oh, she's muted. Okay. So you get 42 10 inch squares and you get two or three pieces of each print. No. No, I guess I better get a piece of paper. Shit. What did I do with month two? So, gee. Yeah. Oh, you know what I got that fabric for from Joe from Fabric Patch? Hmm. So I was going to make the challenge for April 1st. Oh, well, see, that's what mine was for, too. I was going to do that, but I don't think I'm going to get it done. Okay. Well, that's just for March. It's not started yet. So when you come back, we'll have to go to okay. when time flies has their stuff. When will our um, kids be ready? I don't know. I'm going to have to find out. Yeah. Is that what that was? Yeah. It's the doorbell like you have, only it rings. Um, it's connected to my phone. So if somebody comes to my house when I'm gone, I can just, there it is, it's the FedEx guy. I wonder if that's your stuff. Oh no, Mark orders, so who knows what. Cause I just ordered that a couple of days ago. I doubt it'd be ready. No, already. it wouldn't be there yet. Who's on here? Surely. Although maybe I, I did pay for the, I didn't do the $5, I did the $12. Wow. I know. Well, I didn't know how long it was going to take. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of nice. So even when we're gone, and I can talk. So. Oh, Shirley Best is on here. She's such a nice See, it lady. She gives you the little video. And I like that. So when I was at Nicole's last okay. Hi, Shirley. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing fine. How are you? Good. Are you staying warm? Yeah. <laughs> Good. 
How about you? We are. It's it's probably forty degrees. Oh, what what are we? We're nine. Yeah, a little bit of a difference. <laughs> yeah, just a bit. Okay. I mean. Hello, everyone. Can everybody hear me or? Yeah, yep. we hear you. Thumbs up. Okay, perfect. Thumbs up. Great. So how did block one go for everyone? <laughs> Good. I see Kathy has her block one behind her. Very nice. Oh, I love it, Shirley. Looks good. Very nice. Mine's downstairs, but I got my, my block one done, so. Hey, Jess, here's my block one. It's oh. still in pieces. <laughs> it's ironed. Oh, Karen, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Oh, you know, Jess, I was afraid to start it, but once I got going, it was okay. Why is it not allowing me? Mine's all ironed and clipped together. And do you know where it is? And I know where it is. Well, that's the plus. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> there we go. It's like, why can't I hear anybody talking? <laughs> and you're unmuted. My computer was muted. <laughs> oh. We can hear you. Well, that's good. I couldn't hear you guys talking back and forth because I my computer here was muted. Mm -hmm. So totally different, but that's good. <laughs> my goal is to have both done by March 1st. All right. But or April 1st. April 1st. I, I think you can do that. Month two is, I feel like month two is a little easier than month one. It wasn't that hard. It wasn't too bad. So here's month two, just so you guys can get a feel for what it looks like. So we have half square triangles. We're doing some flying geese. And we have some applique. Who here has never, has anybody not ever done applique before? Mimi, okay. All right, and Kathy? I've, I've done one. You've done one. Well, th these are not too bad. So these, we're just gonna be applique circles. That's all we're gonna be doing. So it'll be nice and an easy start for applique. How do we do the there circles? We'll get to that. Okay. We'll and it's machine, it's machine applique, correct? It's machine applique, yes. Okay. All of these have, he suggests a blanket stitch. So that's what I used for mm -hmm. my applique is a, a blanket stitch. And I'll point that, we'll go through and I'll point out all of my little tips and tricks as we go through. So let me get my other camera here set up. In my video around there we go. I said spin it around. There we go. Okay. So for month one, does anybody else want to share their block if they finished it? All set? All right. 
So month two, we're first going to be starting, we're going to be making some half square triangles. And in here, it will tell you that you will only use, so I have leftovers from this block. So make sure when you're cutting, because you will be making four half square triangles, you're only going to end up using three of them. Okay, and he does have that note down in here. Note, you will only be using three half square triangles of each color because those half square triangles are going to be this section right here. So we're only using three of those half square triangles there. We're using those in this unit. So this is our main unit that we're making for block two. So here's that half square triangle. We have some of our background fabric. Again, we're gonna be sub cutting those and we're gonna be cutting those on the diagonal. So when I have this, when I made this first before I added my other piece, this is what I end up with. You have this little piece and then you'll either add on the white, or the red piece for that main block on num for number two. So that's gonna be, we're gonna talk, we're talking about, we're making this unit in here. That's our unit right there. And I'm going to take and put my camera on my phone so I can show you guys a couple of things here that'll make it a little easier when we go to square this one up. Because we have this little half square triangle in here, when we square it up, we want to make sure that this is actually in the center. So let me switch over to my other camera and I will show you what I am talking about here. All right, so here is my half square triangle. And here's my diagonal line that I sewed my, um, well, the half of the um, square that I did. When we go to square this up, this is going to be squared up to four and a half inches. What I wanna do is when I lay my ruler on, as you can see, I have a uh, GE Designs um, the ruler sticker. So I used these lovely little ruler stickers so I can help make marks on my ruler as so I know where I need to line things up at. So oops, I put it the wrong way. So I like it. I like having this so I can take that 45 degree line here and line that up on my half square triangle. And then what I'm doing is I'm lining up the two and a half, two and a quarter inch line with my half, with that half square triangle that I made first. So we make these half square triangles first, we square them up to two and a half inches, and then we sew on our extra small little triangles, and now we're squaring up this whole big unit. That this unit we want to be four and a half inches. So when hey, I go to Yep. Jess, um, I used my block lock rulers. You can use your block lock rulers, especially for this section right here. You can use your block lock right here. That's perfect. This section, I want to make sure that this is actually in the center of my quilt. I'm just being picky. If you want, you can just use a block lock ruler. But what I did is I took my, I'm lining up that 45 degree line and then I'm going from the edge it should be two and a quarter to this line as you'll see I'm only squeaking off just a little bit here okay perfect so that's our main block for this one let's unpin me here let's pin me up here Okay, so that is our main unit for this block is this one right here. 
So when I squared it up, I wanted that line to be, I wanted my ruler line to be at two and one quarter inch. And then just square it up as normal. And then you're gonna sew them just like you did with all your other blocks. So once we have those units, then we're gonna take our other half square triangles that we squared up earlier and we're making the top of this block. I know when I was teaching this in the um, in-store, some people thought that this was actually the unit. This right here, this part is our, this right here is our first unit that we make. Then we're making all of these squares and um, flying geese next. And then we, and you will wanna follow how he has it in, in your book on page eight. I will say when I'm sewing, and we're gonna be doing lots of half square triangles this time around because our accent border is all half square triangles. So I'm going to, so when we have our line, cause we're gonna have two and a half inch squares. Normally you're probably just gonna, when you're sewing, you know, corner to corner, most people would just sew right directly on that line, correct? You don't wanna sew directly on the line. On mine, I sew just off of my line on the part that I'm gonna end up cutting off. I'm essentially, my needle is right next to the line. That way, once I go to open up my flying geese, I'm not losing anything here at the top. If I sew directly on the line, I'm gonna lose just that little like skosh. Maybe it'd be smaller by an eighth of an inch overall. So when I'm going to sew those flying geese, when we're just doing the um, snowballing or just uh, stitch and flip, you want to make sure that we're not sewing directly on the line. We're just off the line. Is that clear as mud? <laughs> and we're going to be doing that for all of the top units. So all of these and then all of our flying geese that we have here. So we have lots of flying geese to practice on this, this time around. Who here likes fl making flying geese? Karen, all right, both Karens. I, I actually enjoy making flying geese. I think it's one of my favorite block units. So, all right. So for most, for that block, once you get to there and once you get to that accent strip, for your flying geese. Those are all pretty straightforward. Um, you're just gonna keep sewing, cut, you know, measure, remeasure, watch that cutting diagram. Yes, Karen. The block lock rulers make it really easy doing the um, flying geese. They do. Yeah. Yep, you can use that too. Mm -hmm. He doesn't give you much for trimming wise. So that's my only, is you, that's why I'm really um, making sure that you guys understand to sew just be just next to the line, not directly on the line. Because these are not, these, you're cutting them directly at four and a half by two and a half. And that's what they need to, that's what their size is for the end. So he's, you, you have no wiggle room for trimming down. That's my only concern. So just be aware of that, that these are cut exact and there's no um, cutting down, all right? <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, so if we move on, then we get into the, so that covers, or and I pretty much followed exactly how his pressing directions came. You don't have any big, huge bumps or lumps like the, um, first block where we had all those points coming together. This one is all, it all nests and lays nice and flat. So I just followed his pressing directions that he had in the pattern and they worked out beautifully. And I followed that for the block and then for the flying geese accent border. Then our, 
Next accent border is we get into those little circles where applique. So for the applique, I suggest for all of your color, so you have some that are on the gray background and you have some that are on a color background. When you step back, it kind of gives it a almost like three-dimensional feel to it. I really like it. It gives some extra movement to your quilt. So any of your circles, any of the fabric that you're cutting with circles, you're gonna wanna have your um, light steam -a seam too. We have a lot of packages. This is gonna, if you buy, if you have, if you don't have any steam -a seam two at home, you're gonna want at least two packages. This is a nine by 12 sheet because we will have more applique upcoming in other blocks. This is just the first time that we're hitting any applique. So for this, you're gonna want the, I like to use the light steam -a seam. That's gonna be what I put on my fabric for my circle. And that's where you're gonna trace your pattern. We're waiting for more of these to come in. We haven't gotten them in yet, but these are very nice because this one, the circle is about two and a quarter inches across. So this is just a nice little template plastic that I can then take and cut out, trace my circle and get it nice and round. When you go to cut out those circles, use your blue Karen K. Buckley scissors. These are the serrated ones, so you don't get any um, fraying or anything like that. These will, and when you're cutting, you want to make sure that you're continuously cutting so you don't get any jumps or jagged edges on it. And that just comes with lots of practice. So when I go to actually sew this on my machine, I have the steam -a seam light steam -a seam two on my um, circle back here, but I also have a lightweight tearaway that I put underneath my block as I'm sewing. This helps prevent the stitches from pulling underneath. This one, it's probably a little harder to see, but this one, I did not put any, um, this one I have the um, tearaway on, and this one I didn't use any tearaway. You can feel it's not as important with like these little circles, but you can tell, I can tell it's pulling, my top thread is getting pulled under to the bottom. And it's, it's a little tighter than it probably should be. With the um, tearaway, it helps, float your, it helps stabilize those stitches, especially if you wanted to, if you didn't want to do a blanket stitch, you wanted to do a satin stitch, you definitely want some lightweight tearaway on the back to help stabilize those stitches. Now in here, he does give on page 10, where he says applique circles in using your favorite stitch. He tells them what the blanket stitch he had. So the width was two and the length was three. What I did on my machine is I saved, I, since I could save that stitch, I had it set up with the width of two and the length of three. And I have that stitch saved. So I don't have to keep remembering, well, which applique stitch did I use or how big was it or how small was it? If it was all, if I saved it in my um, stitches, it was very nice. I, I didn't have to remember. He does give you hints along the way in all the other ones too, if you if your machine doesn't allow you to um, save stitches. So you can still see those on there. Hey Jess, um, I've been playing with my circular embroidery tool. Yep. Uh, works great and you can use all different decorative stitches oh that would be very nice yeah, yeah. takes a little more time it does it would take a little more time yeah, yeah. yep but um uh, bergeron or whatever he, yep. he has Sylvain. Mm -hmm. yeah. he has an excellent um tutorial that i that was, would be uh, an excellent use of the circular embroidery attachment right to, to do if you wanted a nice little decorative stitch around there, that would be very cute. Yes, right. right. Thanks, but it also, you can you can also draw your circle with it. 
Yeah, that would be perfect. So, but, but it takes some practice. It does. I would say, yeah, it takes a little yep. bit of practice. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Wonderful suggestion. And Sylvain has it? that, Sylvain has that, um, that video. I'm going to get, oh yeah. I'm sure if you um, search for Sylvain and circle. Uh, Cause I've done some attachment. of the circle, but yeah. Yeah. Can yeah. you show us again the, uh, the circle templates? The circle templates. So we're waiting for these ones because this, the circle in this project is two and a quarter. So you have to get the bigger perfect circles from Karen K. Buckley. We have more of them on order. We're just waiting for them to come in. So once they do, we'll let everybody know if that is an option that you want for this. We're just waiting for those to come in. Hopefully soon. I know we've got plenty of checker orders coming in, but it all depends on when they actually show up. So <laughs> all right. So we talked about that. Oh, one thing too. We have we have gotten some extra fabric because I'm cutting more kits right now but we will have oopsie kits available and they are available online. So we have all four of the background fabrics and the nine metallic luster fabrics as well. So regularly, and it will be a fat quarter bundle. So if you, you'll have plenty of extra in case you go, oh shoot, I totally screwed up that one little cut and I only was given this little itty bitty piece of fabric. So we now will have fat quarter bundles available. The regular price is $47.99. It's on sale for $42.99 for those oopsie kits. So those are there. I think they're under illusions oops kit. So <laughs> you can always call the store too if you can't find it. We can we'll we'll help you here. And if you want any of like the lightweight tear away or you need some steam a seam call the store and if you because you guys will get 10 percent off of those items but you have to call the store to be able to get that pr that pricing don't email the order to pam pam's inbox is inundated just give us a call just mention that you're in the block of the month and anybody here will give you your discount for that as well is that all good <laughs> Does anyone have any questions for block number two? Looking through, is there any questions for anybody that you can think of at the moment? And I am always hanging out on the Facebook page, making sure I'm if anybody has a question, I try to make sure I'm on there and answering it if it pops up. But this one wasn't, I did not, this one was not so bad. And of course you're using all of your other rulers and everything like that from the other, from the previous month. So this is just adding in that applique this time around. Hey Jess. Yes. We still spray the batiks with fast press. I would still use, cause we are gonna have some bias cuts, especially in our background. So I would still spray your background fabrics with the Tyriel Magic. And then I would use your color. And then on the colors, I would use Best Press then. Okay, you're Thanks. still gonna wanna do that. That's pretty much gonna be throughout cause almost all of these blocks have lots of various bias cuts along them. So you're gonna wanna make sure you have at least one fabric that's really good. Um, we have found if you put two, if you have the Tyriel Magic on both of them, it's a little too stiff. That's why we're suggesting Tyriel Magic on the background and Best Press on all of the colors. That way you still have a little bit of flex. So, you know, you can stretch it if you need to. <laughs> and make sure when you're um, cutting, when you're going to um, spray those, just make sure that you're pressing and not ironing. So you're not distorting your fabric. Um, let's see what else. Je Jess? <laughs> yes. Um, 
last month Pam said using the jeans needle. I think yes. she's. Did, I think she said our point is that it was a 70 or 80 do you recall it, a 70 jeans needle it's going to be a little thinner and very sharp which is really nice sewing through these boutiques i i discovered that why that would be so helpful because yes. the, the, the boutiques batik, are really they're tight fabric they're, and and mm -hmm. when you've got several layers of them. Oh, yeah. And some of them, yeah, you're getting through on some of the seams back here. When you're going through, you have some, you, you're starting to get some, a little bit of bulk in your seam. Not too much on this one, but that 70 needle with it being a jeans needle, it's just that much sharper than like a universal or even a Microtex. And it's going to last a little longer than a Microtex needle too. Microtex will dull faster. Yeah. Well, so if anybody hasn't started that, I, that's just a good recommendation. Yeah. Yes. The 70s jean needle is going to make your life so much easier when you're piecing this together. Yes. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. And Jess, where can we find the recordings again? The recordings will be posted in the Facebook group, and then Pam is posting them on her YouTube channel as well. Okay. Okay, so they Thanks. will be there in case you need anything. Um, I will probably post some pictures later of the blocks when I go to actually trim mine. So you guys have some still photos of what I mean when I'm um, trimming up my block for that um, first unit of your of your the main block here. So for this unit right here, how I go about and actually trim it. Having some, I always find it's easier to have an actual still picture in front of me sometimes. So I'm not going, what, where in the video was that? So. Are okay. you around for the virtual so day? I do believe I will be here for the virtual so day too. Can you tell me again what, what, <laughs> what that is? What day is, let me grab the calendar real quick. Be right back. March 10th. All right. Virtual sewing day is March 10th at 10 o'clock. And then, yes, it's either Pam or I will be checking in throughout the day to just see if anybody has questions or anything like that. Um, and it's just a nice time to just get together and sew with everybody while you're in your sewing space. So March 10th for the virtual sewing day. And that will be or block two. So I will make sure that I am around that day. So if anybody has questions and going, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm confused. I'm getting everything all discombobulated in my head. We don't want you to feel that way. That's why we're here. That's why we're recording these so we can go back and take a look at those. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Does anybody else have any questions? On my, um, I already did the center block, the first one. All right. I, mean, I don't mean the block one. I mean, on block two. On block two? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then when I did the outside that you attached to it. Yep. Um, to make that center block. So you have to be careful what triangles or yes. what. That you sew to what corner? Because I yes. sewed two of them to the wrong. Well, then the three colors don't match up. Don't match up. Yes. So you really sew on page eight. Yes. In your pattern. He has, these are your, those are your outside. You, to get your blocks so they all line up, you have to sew them in this order. Yes. Exactly. exactly. Yep. So make sure you're paying attention to that outer when you come to this part, you're paying attention. So you're not getting, oh, I have a blue triangle where my yellow triangle should be. So make sure you're following that too. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, because you don't want to have to seam rip if you don't want to. And we, you know. What? Ripping is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> you want to rip. Is the lady. It's best. 
especially when you've used that little glue. Yes. A little um, hard. <laughs> It, it makes it a little more difficult. Yes. Exactly. Yes. So yeah, really pay attention to your, um, the pictures in your pattern to make sure you have, and especially like for even up here, making sure the green is going with the red triangle, the blue is going with the red triangle. Yeah. So you really want to make sure you're watching those pictures. Those are nice, helpful clues in addition to the written directions as well. Uh Mine all laid out exactly the way they were supposed to be. And I still sewed that little <laughs> darn triangle on the wrong side. <laughs> so yeah, you're so we've, we've all done that. <laughs> I, so when I was sewing this, I, I knew I was only going to be using three of them, but for right. some reason I started going, well, I'm using all of them, aren't I? And I start, and I'm like, I'm running out of these little triangles where I thought I cut everything. And then I actually, oh, you're only using three. So yes, right. I've made, I make mistakes too. Yes. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. <sighs> so I told him about the oopsie kits. Okay. So, right. yep. We've gone through all of our blocks, reminded them when the virtual sewing day is. So mm -hmm. did you enjoy that? <laughs> enjoy what? <laughs> did you enjoy the virtual, virtual sewing day? Oh, I, I wasn't there. I had another commitment that day, but I'll, oh, I'm okay. going to try to be around for this one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll keep it going. If you, if you ladies want it or yeah. 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 Oh yeah. I need all the help I can. Get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And when we turn it on, it's an opportunity to, to talk with us and ask us if you have any questions. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm liking this. Mm -hmm. I am too. It's a fun project. I have to get block number three done though. Oh. I have it cut. So I have to stay one ahead of you all. <laughs> Pam, all right, get I block looked, number one done. I looked through block number three. Uh huh. Um, is it wise to get the things to cut the drunkard's path or no? The the rulers. Um, I I I have my pieces cut to the point where I haven't started cutting my drunkard's path. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. When Jess and I talked about it, um, I think what I'm going to use is just the old fashioned template. Okay. Yeah. What is that? The old fashioned template is taking like a cornflakes box. <laughs> I could sell you another ruler though, Marsha, if you want. <laughs> you could sell us cornflakes. <laughs> I know. I'll have some cornflake bars here that day. There you we know go. those kind that have the chocolate on top. Oh yeah. Bake, oh pure sugar. Oh yeah. Those are yummy. <laughs> I I discovered that with that acorn glue, I can't. Yeah go all the way to the edge where I'm going to twirl my seams because oh, yeah, that I discovered that once I glue those down, trying to twirl a seam is crazy. Yeah, <laughs> that would be a little hard. That would yeah. be harder. Yep. The way to use the acorn glue is just a little tiny dot where you would normally pin. Yeah. Well, usually I pin right on the corner. I start or I oh, close. And yeah. so now I'm just giving myself some space. It works. For, I got it. I've got it figured out. Okay. So, well, you know, you might have just saved somebody else from making the same mistake. Same mistake. Yeah. So sharing That's, your guys is you guys yeah. sharing tips and tricks yeah. helps everybody else too. Yeah. Th thank you for making that, that uh, discovery, Shirley. <laughs> yes. We won't call it a mistake. We'll call it a discovery. It's a discovery. Yes. <laughs> I, I blunder my way through. <laughs> hey. I and also Lou found that before one though. I got here this morning. I gotta say, <laughs> Lou showed up today. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he behaved. <laughs> yeah, I think he did. Rick was here. I'm pretty sure. I didn't get a chance to ask Rick if he talked to Lou, but I, yeah, I I think he just left. 
quietly. We're crazy in this morning. Yeah. We're all late to work. We were all kind of running behind. My propane ran out on my stove at home and I had scones baking. <laughs> I was crabby. So Rick had to go switch our tanks. And then once I finally got those darn scones baked, then he took all the coffee. So I had to make another <laughs> pot of coffee. Oh yeah. Been stealing coffee. <laughs> it's just one of those one mornings. of those mornings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> had those mornings. <laughs> Our propane tank got down to two percent before we could get them to come out and bring us propane. Yeah, wow. we've been called like three there. times. They're like, "Oh, we'll get there. We'll get there." Finally, the last day, he was like, "I'm sitting at two percent." Yeah, please come. Yeah, we've been hearing that over and over. Yeah, yeah. ask us what's been going on. We'll have an idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I found out this week that my cousin was having open heart surgery and he's a couple of years younger than me. Oh, wow. Heard it at the quilt shop. I'm like, why didn't my aunt tell me? Yeah. Anyway, goodness. now they just found out last week, but he, he, he ended up going through surgery yesterday mm. and he's fine. So well, that's good. Good thing. I have a quilt shop. I know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good thing. You have to have some way of knowing. Yeah, yeah. Like, 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 kind of like the beauty shop. It is. Yeah. Yeah. We always knew what was going on. In <laughs> so it looks like we're getting some more snow tonight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I think it's a quick mover, though. So I, yeah, I don't think it's supposed to be too. Much. Anybody going to go brave the the dog sled races? They're going to be going right, like right by my house. So I think we're going to go out. Yeah, so I think we're gonna drive in. I'm not. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> it was one degree. <laughs> it was cold I'm this morning. Oh, burr! Yeah, I do have to say I don't miss all that snow. <laughs> I've been wearing shorts every day since we got here. Shorts and t-shirts. Oh, <laughs> nice. Very nice. Going right now. <laughs> yes, it's coming down. Oh, sorry oh, yeah. to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there. Mary Nelson. Mary Nelson. Mary Nelson. <laughs> Where are you? I'm behind she's behind the, she's on the other side of the screen. Yes. Did you see oh, what she's no. doing? She, she's ripping. I am ripping out this quilt I'm in a sad place. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Getting up those, is it Jack the Ripper this time or is it Jack the Ripper? Or... <laughs> <laughs> We have a few different names. Yeah, yeah. we do. Yeah. Oh. And this is all being recorded, yes? <laughs> yes, it, it is. is. Yes, it is. It'll, it'll probably, uh, I, I don't have time for editing. So if you get to this point, it's probably done. Done. You can be like, all right, I'm, we're, we're, we're done now. So well, yeah. you get humor with it too. That's good. Yes, you get a little added humor at the end of your video. Kind so. of a warm up for the spring fling. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, it is like that. Yeah, it is. The spring fling quilt retreat. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah. So did you cover everything? We covered it, everything. Good. So yeah, Pam, we're good. Pam, when yeah. do you, when do you anticipate the boxes being ready? Boxes of what? For, for the spring fling. I think we're getting most everything the week of the seventh. So then we have to put it all together. And then we have to put it all through the ships, you know, the mailing, getting it ready for shipping. So probably it probably the week after that is when they'll be ready. Okay, because Barb Monson and I are going to come up. What? When are you planning on coming up? When the boxes are ready. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah. So that that'll probably be when it is. Okay. Yeah. So we don't want ours mailed. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I don't think we hit the record button. This main, oh yeah, there it is. There it yes. is. Kept yes. telling her it was recording. Yeah, okay. it kept telling me it was recording. Okay, so. good. Whew. It kept telling. Yeah, it was. Recording. It was telling me it was recording. Okay, so. good, good. Yes. Whew. Okay. Yeah, it's recording. There it is. It's oh, there, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I 
it's recording. Yay. Yay. So this is the one hit wonder. Yay. Awesome. So yeah, if you guys have any questions for block two, um, either you can, you can always email me. My email for the shop is Jess at timeflieskwiltandsew.com. So if you have any questions for block two, you can always just email me as well. And I can interface with you there. Or you can post your question on the Facebook group as well. And I'm always checking that. My phone usually dings whenever anybody posts anything on there. So if you have a question, feel free. You know how to get a hold of me. Or if you, you know, happen to call the shop and I'm here, that also helps too. So yeah, calling yeah. the shop is always best. Yep. So, so yeah, because I get tons of email every day. <laughs> yes, I did say if they wanted to order any of the this or the um steam and seam to call in or the bigger circles. or the bigger circles yeah yeah those you want the those two three items yep so if you want a, any of those to get you the um 10 percent discount just call the shop and we'll get your order ready for you and if you and need where, a corn do you think the circles will be in <laughs> i don't know do we know when the circles are going to be in hopefully you know soon hopefully soon uh, they were ordered and I don't know if they were shipped yet, but I think they were. Okay. Yeah. yeah it's just otherwise I'll have to use a glass. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Kind of hard. Yeah. These are nice because there's so many different sizes. There's a lot of different sizes in here, and yeah, it's that nice. It's a nice little template, so you're not. Yeah. It's I was. Little... I was kidding. <laughs> yeah, I know. Or you know, even if you can't, you know, find anything that's that two and a quarter inch circle this is perfect but this is perfect it it's the right size so mm -hmm. yep okay so we'll post when it comes in yeah on that facebook group mm -hmm. so all right and the the oops kit for yep. this is available online now so you can add that to your cart if you want to have a backup backup for any missed cuts or anything. So, yeah. yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Well, I got a quilt to quilt. So thank you for joining us. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. You're Bye. welcome. Have a good day, everyone. See you ya. <laughs> Oh, when I tried to get the deep.